Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Winteregg. I'm a dentist and a partner at MGE. And for the next few weeks, I want my tip of the week to focus on the art of scheduling productively. Now, it is an art. There's no real science to it. And it definitely takes a particular type of person to be a good appointment coordinator. But I want to give you a few policies that I used that really, really help take a lot of the confusion out of the appointment book. Number one, you must have one person ultimately responsible for that appointment schedule. I know there are some systems where now there are computers in each operatory and the assistants are scheduling for production and the hygienists are scheduling for production. And at the end of the day, if your target was $5,000 and you did $2,000, you say, what happened today? There's three or four people standing there pointed at each other. There's not one person ultimately responsible. So in my practice, I had one person, and that was her job, and that was her responsibility. Now, if she solicited help from other staff members to put people in the book and they messed it up, I didn't go talk to the person that messed it up. I talked to the person who was responsible. So if there was some confusion and somebody else did something wrong, then the one responsible had to correct that. And pretty much what it evolved to is she was the only one that wanted anybody to touch the book, and that included me. If I went in on the weekend to see an emergency patient, I did not schedule them to come in the following week. I told them that Debbie would be calling them on that Monday, and she would control the book. So scheduling productively, tip number one, have one person ultimately responsible for that appointment book. And that's my art of scheduling productively for this week.